Oh, wow, look at this, look at this here. When it comes to sports, Manchester is famous not only for football, but there's also a very important sport in the same neighborhood where Manchester United is located, cricket. The cricket club here is called Lancashire Cricket Club and it was founded in 1864. Their stadium is also called Old Trafford, Emirates Old Trafford, and it's a 10 minute walk from Manchester United's Old Trafford. How cool is that? So for our last night, we chose a new hotel for one very specific reason. The hotel is located inside the stadium. Really, this is the stadium right here. And that's our hotel. From your room, you're supposed to see a match. Wow. As a journalist who's been working with sports for 15 years, I've never seen something like this. So I'm so excited. Senora Pereira? Yeah. Look at this, look at this here. We are really inside the stadium. This is so cool. The stands are right here and right over there too. Right here. So Imagine, imagine a match going on here, or even just the training. Now, this stadium here will soon host the Cricket World Cup in 2019. They already had the tournament here in 1999, and 20 years later, ta -da! There will be six matches here, England will play here. There's also a classic in the world of cricket, India versus Pakistan, and uh, there's a semi-final here. Now I wonder, will the hotel even be open during the World Cup for this? Because it's like a private skybox. Imagine how amazing you're watching the game and then you want to see what people are saying on TV and then it's right here. The room is really nice. This is a four-star hotel. You know, but compared to hotel football, there's nothing here that gives you like a personalized cricket experience. There's nothing here that reminds you that the field is right over there, that I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> Daily rates here obviously depend if there's a match or not, right? And we were so lucky because tonight is the cheapest night of the entire month. We're paying 100 pounds, just like at the other hotel. Exactly because there's no match, there's no training, none of that. But it's still worth it. I still wanted to come here just for this view. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing, just looking. Look at how quiet the stadium is. I like to see it. And the moon is beautiful. Let me quickly show you the bathroom too. Here's a shower. Modern sink. And here's the toilet. Let's see if there's anything going on today. I see players there. Strategy meeting, imagine. Maybe that's where they meet, who knows? Right. Checking out here. Which one number was it? Um, 201, yeah. Have a lovely day, thank you. Thank you, you too. All right. Lots of people moving here? We did, oh yeah. Good morning from Manchester, Oxford Road Station. We're now here already waiting for our train to Nottingham, next destination. This 
was the first train we got with reserved seats. We obviously didn't pay attention. We got into the first car that we saw, and luckily our seats were right next to where we were originally. I think I've never been so lucky in my life. Imagine if we had to change now, go far away, full of luggage. Oh my God. Our seats are not even listed in our ticket. And funny thing, they had different seat numbers. They left some papers on top of our seats with our seat numbers, and those numbers are different from the numbers that appear on top of the window. So something else to pay attention. Pet museum? I'd go crazy there. Yep, moving, yep, keep, thank you. Nothing can be done in the station stop. It took almost two hours and it didn't have many stops. The train is actually crossing England from west to east, from Liverpool to Norwich. Now in three hours, it'll be in Norwich. We stopped right here in Nottingham, the only station in town, and the train was very comfortable. It just didn't have Wi-Fi nor electrical plugs to charge our stuff. We were with East Midlands. How, how do you know it? Good, yeah. Good. What about you? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye. Three nights, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, if you could just, uh, I need both your names in that box there, please. Mm -hmm. If you could put an address, mm -hmm. um, if you've got a mobile number as well, that would be helpful. And two signatures, okay. please. Yesterday we did a lot of walking. Today is going to be a light day here in Nottingham. So we came to this park outside the city center called Walton Park. Nothing on what you see online is fair to this place here. It is massive, it is a huge, beautiful park full of deers. When you arrive, you see that green grass and all the way there at the top, this beautiful house, that's Walton Hall. Today it's a museum, we're going inside, gonna check it out. It used to be a house, you know, it was built in the 1580s. And today it's the Natural History Museum. This park here is so huge that today it's also used for concerts and events. We didn't bring a tripod, so this is how Gordon is doing the time lapse here. This is like three times the size of everything else. It's enormous. Walter Hall is made from dinosaur age stone. Wow! This limestone formed 160 million years ago. You see the museum, but also admire the house. You know when places charge you to dress up like in old clothes and take portraits, old style? Here, no, they just leave these clothes. You can dress up yourself, sit down over there and take your own picture. Museum is free and not very big. You can see everything in half an hour. Uh, but they also have private tours in case you want to learn more about the history of the family that lived here. It's easy to get a bus back, so let's do it. 
What is that? <laughs> yeah, exact fare. His driver doesn't care to change. It's a Cuban restaurant here in Nottingham. So in the next video, we'll start showing Nottingham and things to do here in town. If you like this video, give me a like, let me know. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Gordon, you're in my image. Excuse me. <laughs> Baby, you're in my... Were you stopping for Nana? Did you hear that there's a train out to Boston? <laughs> it could have come by train instead of flying. Ha 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 ha!